Thank you. Now the next one is it's rather different. It's not really a Christmas piece at all, although it does it does mention winter and the snows of winter. It's more in the uh, in the vein of a, a sort of meditation on the transience of life, and it goes through the seasons and picks a, an example of flowers that blooms and then dies away with the snows of all winter. The sun comes out and they all melt, and uh, you know it's all a bit. Uh, Bit depressing, really. But um, <laughs> having having gone through all these these examples of how life really is a very long-lasting thing, but we, we when we were learning this one, we, we decided that it really needed a, a rather more cheerful and philosophical coda that would uh, set the, the record straight, would bring things back to a kind of, to a sort of conclusion which was a little bit more optimistic, really. And so we had a sort of a choral. Uh, poetry competition, so you could come up with a couple of lines that would, uh, that would do this effectively. And uh, I'm pleased to say that uh, we, we, we used the uh, of uh, Ruth, one of our apples, one of the extraordinary sparkly jumper <laughs> So, if anybody knows this and wonders what the extra verse is all about, that's that. It's actually an American piece, it's written by the, uh, the splendidly named uh, Supply Belcher, who came from Maine and who lived around the time of the American Revolution. So here we go. This one's called Transition. It's on a company in the commander, a well deserved rest. Okay, we'll be back soon.